everyone, this is another video about retro gaming stuff and today we are going to build a retro computer. Wait, wait, I can make a better intro. Let's do that again. Greetings and welcome to a TRP thing and today we are going to build a new retro computer. I'm sorry for this. Uh, kind of a bad parody, but uh, yeah, this build was inspired by uh, LGR builds and I was um, uh, thinking that uh, at some point after the retro console, maybe I would have um, a gaming computer, uh, a retro gaming computer, but I wasn't sure on what, what I would both or just go with emulation. I finally uh, setting down for like a bunch of months and try to build something like that. So this build will be uh, under Windows XP, uh, even if I wanted at, uh, at, at start to be on uh, Windows um, 88, um, because, well, I wanted to, to build something around the Pentium 3 uh, for personal reason, because when uh, uh, I start to really gaming, it was uh, the beginning of uh, um, land, uh, land parties uh, and I had at this time a Pentium 3 uh, with uh, a GeForce 4 and this is where I discover uh, playing in multiplayer uh, with on Starcraft on um, Counter-Strike of course and Quake 3. After that uh, this is where I'm starting to uh, work. Uh, I had like 19 years old, 20 years old so Starting from there, this is really where I start um, putting really money inside uh, a computer, not begging uh, at Christmas or making small errands to trying to build up some budget. Anyway, um, this is going to be uh, some quiet, weird build. I will explain. Um, I've focused around the beginning of uh, year 2000, 2001 where the Pentium 3 uh, was uh, in competition with uh, AMD and is a uh, Athlon XP uh, CPU but uh, the goal was let's focus on the motherboard what kind of Pentium 3, the best uh, Pentium 3 motherboard I can have and from that what the maximum I could put like the maximum RAM, uh, what the best AGP card uh, and stuff like that so don't be surprised if the build is a bit weird, uh, but it's like the retro futuristic uh, computer in 2001-2002. So of course, starting with the uh, case, uh, this is a DIY case, really cheap. I think I got it for uh, 30 bucks, 30 Canadian boxes. I've already put some uh, modification. This was both for another project. Then I had some to reshuffle some can of my computer at home. So I ended up with this um, computer, or well, this tower. As you can see, I've already removed the USB 3 because the previous uh, motherboard, it was a uh, quad core. The one from uh, my uh, lab. Uh, I didn't have any USB 3, so I removed them to remove some cable. It has um, a window. Plexiglass window. Oh, I haven't put it off. Yes, I did. It's just some remaining. Oh, too bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, I have a nice, nice dust filter with uh, magnets, and of course, like classic back. I have two uh, 12 millimeter, one from Entec, and uh, another one which was on this uh, tower that I will remove. Uh, so yeah, this one is blue LED. I don't know if I'm going to put some LEDs. And of course, this is the uh, center of this build. This is the motherboard. This is a Tyan Tiger uh, 230T with the Via Apollo Pro 133T. So this is a dual Pentium 3. Uh, this one supports Twilight. Uh, so you don't have any more anything after uh, both kind of Pentium 3. After that, uh, Intel went with the Pentium 4. So to go with this motherboard, I have two 
Pentium 3 S Charlatan with 512 uh, cache, memory cache. Uh, so this is the maximum, the, less, the latest Pentium 3. Uh, we have a, a dual core machine. To go with that, uh, of course, we are going to use some RAM. So this one, since it's a, it's a server motherboard, we're going to put two gigs of uh, memory. Uh, hopefully, Windows XP should be handling that uh, easily. So I found these two uh, TR2 M3 uh, from uh, Thermal Tech. Uh, they are a base of copper, so it should uh, refresh and cool down our CPU um, nicely. I had to find a DVD uh, RAM drive, uh, which is also a burner, and we've got also a black um, floppy disk. So at the time, the best you could have was the Western Digital Raptor which was not in ADE yet, but still in uh, SCSI, if I remember correctly. But uh, since now we have access to a new technology, we are going to use on the main drive, this Intel SSD. Uh, this is 8 gig. Uh, it's some kind of old model. I got it for really cheap, I think five bucks. But you're going to say, hey, TRP, this is weird because you're using an uh, SSD which is in Sayalata and your motherboard doesn't have anything in Sayalata. Well, I had something sleeping in my shelves for a long time. This is this cute little thing. This is a neat IDE to Sayalata adapter. So unfortunately, uh, the uh, motherboard is not uh, was not shipped with a backplate, but I have one which should match. Unfortunately, as you can see, I don't have any sound card. Uh, well, not unfortunately, because at the time the uh, onboard uh, um, sound card was horrible. But I have something which is matching. I just have some holes uh, for the um, joystick and the audio port, but that should do the uh, I have to drop some stuff, so I will have uh, the Sayaleta, of course. I will have uh, the... Um, round cable, uh, parallel ATA, and uh, the floppy disk. I will also have the audio and the digital, and I found a wake up online uh, cable. So we're going to use this Zoom Blaster or DG2 ZS. This is, uh, as you can see, a really old one. I have it for really, really cheap. I think it's five bucks again. The thing is, I don't have any uh, joystick port. This is here, so I will have to find a joystick port. Also, I don't have any plug for the no, from the tower, so I'm going to make an adapter here to plug uh, and adapt uh, the um, front panel audio. And for the network, again, we don't have any network uh, on the motherboard. We're going to use this uh, Intel uh, Pro One Gigabyte. Of course, this motherboard only support uh, four USB one uh, plugs, so I have two on the back. I have. Uh, header here. So I'm going to throw this uh, USB 2 adapter. Um, so I wish I would have like the ability to plug the two on the front. Uh, I have a header there but I'm missing components so I'm not really sure this is going to fit. Uh, but eventually I will have two USB 2 on the back and maybe one on the front. I will see how it's turned out. So here our adapter for USB and uh, as for the graphic card, as you uh, remember, I've told you like I'm not going to take everything from the same area. You already seen that with the SSD, but more what uh, the maximum I could put on this motherboard. So at the time, we're still in AGP 4X. So um, I feel like what kind, what the best AGP I could put on this motherboard. And even if it's like totally um, overkill and I'm going to be bottlenecked by the, um, the, C the CPU, so I choose an HTS uh, Radeon HD uh, 4670, if I remember correctly. Uh, the stickers was totally torn apart, so I have to remove it. But this one is AGP. Uh, the thing is, it's using 
uh, an AGP to PCI uh, bridge. So I'm not sure this is going to work on this motherboard because um, there's a lot of uh, incompatibility report, especially with NVIDIA and its uh, PCI bridges. So I'm not sure this is going to work. Hopefully this is going to be cool. I have this uh, Radium, I think it's a 7000. And uh, yeah, if the HES is not working, I will still have uh, a temporary and uh, then uh, I will have to unfortunately find the best compatible. Something uh, funny, at the time Arctic Server was just starting to put some product. I think we got an Arctic Server 2 or something like that. So we're going to put some Arctic Server 5 for our CPU. But now you're seeing, yeah, you're just missing the power supply. So what kind of power supply I can use? We're going to use something way overkill. We're going to use this EVGA uh, 750 watts. Uh, totally unnecessary, but I got it for, again, a pretty good price. Speaking of the power supply, I found this uh, in my old uh, cable bag. Uh, this is a 24 pin to 21 adapter. And we may have uh, the use of that because I heard like between the ATX 2.2 specification from the um, new power supply and the old uh, ATX, I think ATX 1 um, from this area, you may have minus 5 volts somewhere which is now is grounded or vice versa, I can't remember one, I will just put in the description uh, comment on the video. But yeah, we'll keep that and see if uh, we um, need it. So. We got all the part. I think it's time we start to assemble everything.
So as you can see, I'm short of for a few millimeters to plug. Uh, I, I can't go there because you have absolutely no uh, all the other cover. Even if I stretch as far as I could, I cannot. So eventually, this is going to give me enough. Uh, the few centimeters which is missing to plug everything. I will uh, attach everything on the back, make some cable management, and we should be able to uh, power up this puppy. So for this build, we're going to use our freshly build. We need a monitor. So I'm going to reuse my 21-inch CFT screen. I know this is not a CRT, but I couldn't find a CRT for a good price for this build. So let's say this is some kind of futuristic because at the time TFT was uh, really slow, they were uh, small resolution. So yeah, I'm going to reuse my old, not really old, but well, some kind 
uh, I'll take something, I, I forget the references, this is just like two speakers uh, for our need. So of course we need a keyboard and a mouse. I found on eBay someone selling uh, old new stock of Microsoft keyboard in PS2. Mm. So this pack is sold with the classic basic mouse with his adapter, USB adapter, but we're not going to use that because at the time we were starting to have uh, gaming mouses or more like internet mouses. So we're going to use this Microsoft Explorer 3.0 mouse with five buttons and this is the second one because the first one I bought as an accident on the shipping so I have to buy two of them. Of course since we're building a gaming PC I need some controller so we're going to use this Gravis Gamepad Pro and we can use Gravis Gamepad. This is a bit dirty but uh, yeah eventually at some point I'm going to open it up and cleaning but we're going to have two controllers. So uh, the screen is going to be plugged in VGA. Um, I could do uh, DVI and uh, the graphic card supports HDMI but I want to try if I can um, record from the DVI, uh, yeah, from, from, the, from the HDMI to um, my capture card. So if I have uh, some game, uh, I will try. But first, let's try, let's see if we have some post. Oh, damn, this is loud. I don't hear, I don't hear the beat. What's going on? Oh, but do we have a post? Do we have a post? Yes, two gigs, two gigs on CPU. Yes, two CPU. Yes, Intel. You see that? We got our SSD detected graphic card. Yeah, we don't have any. Um, we don't have any uh, system. The keyboard is working. Yes. So I made some quick modification. Uh, so now the uh, oh hey already yeah. So uh, I changed the date. We can see we have our SSD which is recognized. We got our uh, optic drive, floppy drive, two gig of RAM. Uh, okay, so we got various warning. What is it? Hello to choose the various warning feature. This is so old. There's a lot of stuff I can't remember. Floppy, CD, HD, everything it should be cool. Like the bias, that you bias shadow. I don't, I don't remember this kind of stuff. This is, wow, back on the day we got a lot of stuff we have to like share knowledge between people because internet was not really, uh, like one guy has internet or his dad has internet or you have to buy um, 
yeah, first I need GP. You have to buy like a uh, magazine. Wow, this, this, I don't I don't know uh, which fan is making this noise, but I will have to to change that because this is madness. Yeah, not bad, not bad. We got less than thirty degrees. We got two CPU fan. Oh, one is. Uh, on off, on off, this is weird. I've got one which is really weird. Okay, now it's time to uh, install a new system. So I could go with my uh, Legit copy of Windows XP, then install the uh, Service Pack 2 and download all the uh, updates, but a long time ago I made a slipstream version uh, with Windows XP on it so what I'm going to do is just start to install and uh, when, we, when we have the, the system I'm going to jump cut because I will have to install all the driver, all the stuff and this is going to take quite some uh, time So again, for people who are not looking in that video, don't pay attention to the grey stuff here. This is like an old, an old, um, an old screen, so yeah, don't, it's, it's fine. Also, this is going to be in French because, uh, well, I bought the, my copy of uh, Windows XP uh, back in the day when I was in, uh, in France. Hey, look at that! 80 gig! So I can totally see our um, SSD drive. Okay, so I am a system. Let's see what it's detected and not. Okay, so Ethernet, BGA, so I don't have anything. Eventually this is going to be the USB Wait, let's just try something Haha, -ha. I have my two CPUs Yeah, so I got my two gigs of RAM But it's nothing But I've got my 2GB of RAM. So, I'm going to install all of the uh, driver and everything. We'll check for the fan eventually. And uh, I will be back uh, when uh, everything will be set up and ready to uh, play some games. So, uh, I've uh, finished to install all the driver. I hope so. I found all my some of my old games here. But I have a problem with the graphic card, uh, it's not detected. So I still seeing as a 
compatible VGA, but uh, it's, it's not working. Like uh, when you boot, uh, it's really slow. It's, it's 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 awful. So I hope the card uh, is not defective, or at least compatible with the rest of the system. So I will uh, make a jump cut. I will have to make some research on the internet. Uh, I've already tried to activate it at, uh, via Apollo uh, 133T. Uh, I have already put the uh, the driver for the motherboard. I can't, I can't remember the the name. Uh, I've also find um, a reg file to, uh, to force activate the 4X. AGP 4X, but it's not working. Right now it's not working at all. So, yeah, it's a kind of bummer. I will try to think her a bit, but uh, eventually we will have to go with the uh, Radeon, uh, Radeon uh, 7000 I have in spare. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bummer. So, uh, small update. Uh, it's been a while since I'm trying to make the card working. The card is working, but not in LGP 4 x uh, I've tried a lot of patch, I've tried a lot of stuff. Um, you can go into advanced chipset, this is an, uh, find another BIOS, uh, which I'm not even sure this is for this uh, motherboard because it's uh, proposing me to change uh, the onboard uh, audio, which I don't have. But uh, yeah, um, I've tried to change the driving control here, which is apparently the, the voltage you can send through the uh, AGP port, but it's not working. The best I had is like you getting into Windows and then the first panel or uh, explorer you try to open and it's crash. So unfortunately I have to disable the 4X. So yeah, at least at least the model, the graphic card is working but it's uh, yeah I wish I would have the 4X because I'm pretty sure in the uh, at some point I'm going to be uh, limited Maybe I'm going to be limited by the CPU before I'm going to hit a wall with the AGP, but uh, yeah. Uh, I found some uh, fan, so I will try to replace the two on the CPU. I will have to install those games. So yeah, I have uh, the basic operation of the, of the PC working, graphic card sound, everything is working. So yeah, I'm going to install now uh, all the game, maybe some uh, 3D Mark to see where we, how we perform, and uh, eventually I will try to capture some uh, gameplay. Nani? And the screen is broken again. Fantastic. I've just made a video to explain how to repair it. Anyway, let's continue to install the game. Three, two, one, go! Wow, total destruction!
creatures are under attack. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your minions are winning a battle. and must defend yourself. <laughs> You're a queer yes. fellow. What you want? What now? I'm done. I'm yep, done. I'm gone. Being gas. I long for combat. Gaukola! Thus I serve! You have taken the lead. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
Prêt ennemi en vue. On regroupe pas. Prêt. Go. À gauche, RAS. À droite, RAS. On y va. Mouvement à droite. Avancez. People don't yet trust you. If you're going to ever find the vault, you'll need the aid of the people. Helping Dr. Zed with his nine toes problem is a good move.
So there you have it. So it is uh, build is perfect. No, uh, there are some stuff I could uh, optimize, uh, like the USB. Speaking of the USB, if I ever plug something in USB 2, this is destroying the performance of the GPU because all the ERQ are shared. Um, so yeah, not fun. There's some cable optimization I could do. Uh, the new fan are not that uh, quiet, I would expect, but they only cost eight boxes each. So yeah, if I release something totally uh, quiet, I would have to go uh, with Nokia. No, uh, Nokia. I would uh, have to buy some Nokia. And um, yeah, the system is, how could I say, strange. Uh, like Borderlands is working but it's really slow because I have only 2 gig of RAM but Call of Duty is really 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 hard to uh, make work uh, this is really unstable I don't know why uh, since I have a French version I cannot install the um, patches so I don't know if the patches increase the stability I have also some game which refuse to run I have an original copy of Arena vs Predator. It's not working. I don't know why. It's just like I think this is because there are some direct X or direct draw issue. Uh, I didn't have the gold version, so I don't know if I can do something about that. But yet yeah, it's a bummer. I wanted to play this round too. Also, I did not uh, find my, my copy of Crisis, maybe I left in France. Uh, I couldn't find, I couldn't have one for this video. Also, I don't have a lot of games um, from 2003, 2004, because at this time, Steam started to be something, and I've already resold all my game from that uh, area. So I did not have any more my copy of uh, Oblivion. Uh, I wish I'd had also Unreal Tournament 2003 or 2004. But yeah, anyway, uh, as you can see, um, Borderlands is working pretty great uh, for uh, considering the edges of the of this build. Uh, all the other are working pretty great. Even um, uh, SimCity, I was scared like the CPU a bit too short for uh, SimCity, but it's 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 playable. Um, but yeah, um, this is uh, mainly because I have two CPU and um, the graphic card is um, pixel shader free, I guess. So yeah, it's a lot. Uh, also, the SSD is uh, making the thing way more faster. Uh, only two gigs. So yeah, starting 2005, um, it's getting really hard to load some game. But yeah, I think it's pretty great. I have uh, a large, a really large area to play uh, from 2006 to, I won't say like Borderlands. I think Borderlands is pretty an exception. I will have to take the crisis. But yet, 2006, I would say, max. Uh, so yeah, around 10 years of, uh, of gaming PC on a real hardware. I think it's pretty great. So. Uh, this video may be a bit long, sorry if it's too boring, uh, I hope you enjoy it, I'm pretty happy about the result. I still have some management uh, to do, uh, uh, I will have to try to hide the gaming, gaming uh, port, but uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.